सो बेटा टुडे वी विल फाइंड द स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन ऑफ टेन परसेंट ग्लूकोज सोल्यूशन टू फाइंड द स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन वी आर यूजिंग द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज टर्म एज द पलेरीमीटर सो दिस इज द पलेरीमीटर सो पलेरीमीटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ फर्स्टली द लैम्प देयर इज द लैम्प दैट इज द सोडियम लैम्प हैविंग द वेव लेंथ अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन नियनोमीटर्स बियॉन्ड इट देयर इज अब्जेक्टिव लेंस हेयर हेयर इज अ लेंस दिस इज द पलेरीमीटर ट्यूब पलेरीमीटर ट्यूब portion where we have to uh, put on the polarimeter tube this is the polarimeter tube where we have to put on the sample so this polarimeter tube has a specific length it, sometimes it is of 10 cm or sometimes it is of 20 cm well, this is this one is of 20 cm we are using okay so this length should be measured accordingly so this is the polarimeter tube then these are two eye lenses eye pieces from these eye pieces from one of the eye pieces you can observe uh, you can take the observation what observation you are taking then whenever your uh, specific rotation is reached whenever the angle of rotation is reached there is always a flipping between the dark and light portions that we will send you uh, and tell you in the uh, later in the video also then this eye piece consists of the scale readings from this eye piece you can take the scale readings here is a scale from 0 to 360 degree centigrade okay so this consists of all the angles from 0 to 360 degree centigrade you have to settle the the scale using this knob this is the compensation knob here you have to use that knob <coughs> then here is the vernier scale from which you have to take out the corrective values wherever corrective values are uh, what degree of changes are there that we are taking from the vernier scale so to start with the experiment you have to take firstly water you have to set the zero in the uh, the scale to setting the zero you have to take water in the polarimeter tube this is your polarimeter tube okay so how to full, fill the polarimeter tube open it up from one end after opening you can add water this is distilled water you can add water in this tube close it slit clean it up okay so after filling this polarimeter tube you should observe that there is no any bubble inside if there is any bubble in the polarimeter tube that bubble should be placed in this hump that hump is observed on the polarimeter tube if there comes a bubble if it is a small bubble place it in this hump afterward put this polarimeter tube in the polarimeter case this tube case we have put it here close it and now we are have to observe the values here when you are observing you have to settle that okay so at this point you can observe i i will show you you can observe from here that at 0 degree centigrade approximately 0 degree angle here comes the a kha sakte hain aap se ek skipping observe ho raha hai okay yes. you can see a bright portion inside and dark portions outside and when you are changing it mm thoda settle nahi ho sakte the set gaya now here see the change now the dark portion is inside and light portions are outside 
you can visualize here here comes the dark portion inside and when you are changing a little bit the flipping is there now the dark portion uh, light portion is inside and the dark portions are the outside so this is the point where we have to take the reading this is termed as the flipping point at this flipping point we have to take the reading whatsoever reading is coming on the scale you can observe from this objective lens this eyepiece that reading comes out to be if it is clearly visible here is a scale inside uh, scale nazar aaye Yes. And this scale can be observed at zero, that is zero degree. Okay, so this scale is set at zero degree with water as the reference uh, solvent. So taking water as a reference solvent, we have set the zero of the polarimeter. So after setting the zero of the polarimeter, now take this tube out. Okay, water tube is out, and here one tube is there. that is filled with the sugar solution it contains 10% sugar solution we have already filled it and you can observe here that there is no bubble inside okay now place this tube here after placing again close the case and start observing from here and this is the point where you can observe again the flipping point half dark and half light portion and the light portion immediately changing to the dark position this is the flipping point here uh, you can visualize here for the cane sugar again so there is a bright light inside the center and this bright light will immediately change into the darker portion when you are rotating a little this bright light will get converted into the dark line it is observed here now the dark line is there so this change immediate change from a dark portion to the light and light to the dark that is actually the flipping point you have again to note in case of cane sugar and this flipping point in case of cane sugar comes out at the reading that is approximately i think 192 and uh, the scale reading comes out to be 192 if it is observed through the eye lens we are trying for that be clear from the through the eye lens so this reading comes out to be 192 at the scale okay so observing this reading we are have to write down both the reading for water because water comes out to be at alpha for water comes out to be at 0 degree so we don't have to minus such uh, any correction from here so alpha for sugar comes out to be sugar that is 10% solution comes out to be 192 degree okay so what we have to calculate is the specific rotation this is the rotation angle of rotation so this angle of rotation comes out to be 192 degree so alpha for this should be at particular wavelength as i have already told you that this is at the 589 nanometer and your uh, temperature uh, today is approximately i think 13 degree centigrade okay so alpha which is given in the books is for the 25 degree centigrade that is the optimum temperature but today the temperature is 13 degree so there some there may be some variation in the alpha specific rotation so its formula is 100 multiply by alpha that is the angle of rotation we have found divided by l l is the length of the polarimeter and multiplied by the concentration concentration of the sample okay so taking this we have 100 into alpha comes out to be 192 degree length of the tube i have already told you that is 20 and concentration we have taken as the 10% okay so when you are calculating it it comes out to be approximate uh, it is minus 192 divided by 2 that is uh 9 uh, 18 96 uh alpha so specific rotation at 13 degree centigrade for at 589 nanometer for sugar solution 10% for 10% sugar solution 
comes out to be 96 degree okay so this is your result so this is how you can operate the polarimeter okay so rest we will read about the principle and theory in the next class okay